me again. <laughs> what the heck? That is. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> oh, no. yes, a baby. Intentionally you live. Intentionally eating. Intentionally growing where we are. Welcome back to the Padilla Family Homestead. I'm Jennifer. And I am Ikinu Jr. slash the extreme. That he is. <laughs> we are here. I'm going to teach my husband uh, something that I learned as a child. Um, it's sort of an Easter -y tradition that got passed to my family from our best friends growing up. And um, it was something that their family kind of did, and it's egg wars. So I called... What? Egg wars? Like yes, going egg, to war with eggs? Egg wars. We're going to war with eggs. That's what we're going to do. You will ah! like it. You will like it. It's going to be Hulk smashing. Do I get to smashing your head? No. So, <laughs> you're not going to smash on the painful. head. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I called and asked her, kind of, like, where this came from, because I know we learned it from them, and um, she explained that. So, um, who I called was my mom's best friend since the fourth grade. And so the, she's been like a second mom to me. Oh. Yes. And so you were here when I was on the phone about it. Yeah, I do remember about it. So um, it is something that their family did. It came from uh, the family roots where it came from was actually Russia. They are, her family roots are also from Latvia. And so um, this was something that her family has always done. And Easter wasn't a holiday that we always spent together, um, but uh, there's this one for sure that we did, and they taught us this, and then we've done it since then. Um, and so basically, you pick your eggs, and we actually have a tray of eggs here. Some of these are cracked, so we're not going to use them. They're not actual. These the are hard boiled. Way, the way the chicken lays them. No. Did so. I know them? No, these, I dyed this with turmeric. I was experimenting. Tumor. I was trying to get done fast, so the beets, I did not leave it in long they're enough. Like, I think. Like tan. Yeah, they're not as, they're like a light pink tan color. Um, whereas this is the color they started, which was white. Sunburn. So I kind of um, had fun playing with these. I was kind of in a hurry though, so I didn't let the beets sit as long as I probably should. I think if I were to do these again in the future, I would want them to sit overnight. Um, but basically, how egg wars works is you need to have hard boiled eggs. And what we did is we would decorate them and we would have fun. And um, my best friend's dad growing up would like write number one on it all the time. It's going to be the winner one or sometimes the Steelers egg. We would decorate them and write things on them and do all the fun things. And we would come with our our egg that was gonna win okay and you have no clue if it's gonna be a winner or not the best ones from what she said that she has found the ones that usually last are ones who have the air pocket on the side instead of on the tips but there's no way to really tell that um so we would decorate them have fun everybody had their egg you decide if everybody has one egg or two eggs or how you're gonna do it and um we go through and we do the war so why don't we look at the eggs and we each pick two eggs that we want to fight with look for cracks because we don't want to crack you're gonna do a pink one just watch out for beet don't drop beet juice if it's drops you can tell if they're perfect so you're gonna do those no, i'll go with this the one's not even I, decided, I think I'm going to go both yellow. Okay. I have my eggs. Put yours right here that you're going to use. They're hard boiled. You don't want to weaken it. This one has bumps. 
Okay. That one's correct, I think. Yeah. Want to have the tip? Perfect. No, it's, it's already cracked. That's fine. It's aerodynamic. It no, has that a means, racing strike. Honey, crack means racing, it's lost racing already. Racing strike. Crack means it's lost already. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'll do two B ones then. Okay. All right, so put yours right here. So basically what you do is however many people you have, you get your eggs set up. Just don't put it on your shirt because those were dyed with beet and they're not totally dry yet. So we take, you get paired up with a person, okay? okay. And put your other egg down because I don't want this all over the couch. So we take our eggs uh -huh. and you're going to battle with one person until it's the last man standing. Okay, so we're gonna take skinny tips and we're gonna go hit them. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, mine broke. I win. Okay, hold on. Yes. Next one, we're gonna do fat ends. Okay, you come at me. Oh, I broke again. <laughs> okay, so that egg is. Last man standing. Okay, it's so the champion. If you were going with multiple people, I chose a champion. You have, let's say, you have six I'm people. I'm a wiener. Hold on. <laughs> so if you have six people, you're each gonna go sets of two, and those final three winners will then start to compete, right? And so now, at this point, if he had that last egg, he would be the winner. Even if he had one crack and the other side was bad, if he has. If he has the good, it's perfect. It's a good egg. Okay, ready to go again? Go again, same egg. <laughs> Which end are you doing? I'm doing the skinny one. Okay, one, go. two, three. Oh, me again! <laughs> what the heck? That is <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> oh no, yes, a baby. And now it's yours against yours. Okay. Ready? Bad in first or skinny? Skinny. Okay. <laughs> what? This is yours too. Okay. One, two, three. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what are you doing to that egg? Okay, right. bad end. Ready. One, two, three. Ha! Uh... Okay, so now we do fat against skinny. Because it's the remaining eggs. One, two, three. Oh, it's me. So you're still lost on standing. <laughs> <laughs> still a so, winner. I forgive you, baby. I forgive you. <laughs> so that's how you play Egg Wars. It is simple. It is fun. You can go as crazy and with it. And you get to eat them at the end. Yes. So you do this. Don't save these as trophies. So <laughs> they go bad. They start stinky. So. <laughs> Unless you're a rat. So, unless you're a rat. Okay, so you could take these and do this first and then go make all your um, deviled eggs and so forth and enjoy Whoop. your side dish. So, it's just a fun thing. I have a feeling from here on out, every Easter from here on out, we will be doing egg okay, wars. Let's try one more egg. I don't I want still... another egg. You want another egg? No, no I'm using the same one. Around. Well, the back end's broken. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Jeez Louise. It's still. He's got to crack me. all eggs from here on out like this. I can already tell. I hope you enjoyed this. I would love to know if you do egg wars. And if you do. Oh, no. If you do egg wars. What are some of your favorite things that you look for? Like, he was spinning eggs and stuff like that. That was interesting. I've never seen that. So, that I remember. Pro they probably did that when I was younger. But, um, I hope you have fun with this. It's, it's just all, in... It's all about balance. If you spin it and it spins in place, it's balanced properly. Okay. So, I hope you enjoy this. I hope that this brings some fun to your family festivities. Uh, that it's something that you can add to your traditions. Um, thank you to the family who shared this with us. Um, it has made many memories in the past and it's going to make a ton of memories in the future. Because we will be egg battling all year round Thanks anytime there's the hard boiled eggs. Family. 
the tea family. So we will see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Stream out. Intentionally working. Intentionally choosing. Intentionally 